What are the things that you added to your life in recovery that made the difference? Like, so that you got fitness, yeah. you got a little bit of a spiritual side, don't you? Yes, absolutely. And then what else? So I'll talk about those things. How did fitness, how did fitness help you? Did you look like this when you got out of treatment? No, I've lost 110 pounds. I needed a total revamp in my life. Yeah. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. Yeah. Everything needed to be done differently. Well, I know for me, the fitness thing helps tremendously with my mental health. Like, I feel better about myself, you know, my confidence. Yes. But it also helps me sleep better and have happier thoughts. Like, yeah, absolutely. Straight up. Absolutely. And whenever you start your day and you go out there and get a good sweat, at least I start my day. Yeah. You know, uh, it's just, it's a game changer. Throughout the day, you feel, uh, you know, I can go and walk without getting tired. You know, I was in such bad shape. Uh, I couldn't stand in one place for more than a, a couple hours, and then I felt like my back was going to throw out. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you used to play four quarters of football. <laughs> now you can't even stand around without sitting down. Like, what's going on here? And do you feel, you know? don't you feel like this gives your recovery more value too? Because you get, you get the life that you have out of it. And when you, when you add like fitness and those goals that you've been working towards in your recovery, it adds a value to your recovery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes me not want to go back. Right. I'm right. too far ahead. You know right. what I'm saying? Another big deal is the, my spiritual life now. Yeah. Uh, I am very intentional with spending time in the morning. And, I, you know, and, and, and my higher power, God, whatever you want to call him, uh, has shown me these things of why it's, inten why it's important to do it in the morning. Okay, for me, it's basically reminding myself that I need to surrender. And, and one of the first things I do in the morning uh, in the program that I'm in is uh, the first step truth. Mm -hmm. I'm powerless over drugs and I can't manage my life with them. So you do 12, you're a 12 step guy? Yeah, I'm a 12 step guy, yes. And that, that program taught me, it was like spiritual training wheels for me. Yeah. Okay, it, it taught me how to have a spiritual life and a relationship with something that's bigger than me. Right. Okay, so you know, and it brought me closer to who I believe is a higher power, ultimately, right. all right? So I have my study time in the morning. I drink my coffee, it's very peaceful. I'm very intentional to keep a peaceful environment at my house. Yeah. I have meditation music that I listen to at night, uh, 432 hertz. Uh, I heard that that's good healing. Uh, I research this stuff that's now. That's intentional, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. very intentional what I do with my... It's with, good. Because even when I'm sleeping, that's that's seven to eight hours that uh, something good can be going on in me. Yeah. Okay, so I carry that over in the morning. Uh, it's very peaceful at my home. It, it has to be a sanctuary of peace because I'm so used to chaos. Yeah. Okay, and it's totally different. So, you know, I spend time, I spend time with my higher power, uh, the one I call God. And, uh, and you go to church too, don't you? Yes, absolutely, I go to church. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an avid member in church. Uh, not only do I go to church, I involve myself. And this is the beautiful thing, Neil, is, uh, is uh, how, how my past can now be used for good.